Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Commonwealth and all our ships in space. Let's get to the news. Stalemate. Once again, the expansionist party, led by our own Chancellor Sullivan, has been thwarted in attempts to begin colonization efforts in the neutral space. The conservationist party, led by the formidable Senator Gravitas, colony blocked our esteemed Chancellor with an astonishing 7-2 committee vote. The conservationists seem to be gaining the upper hand in the Senate, and this poses a direct threat to the Sullivan Chancellorship and the continued dominance of the expansionist party. More as news becomes available. Breaking news! Qualco refineries on Arcturus 3 are being shut down after a disastrous explosion moments ago. As everyone knows, refined qualtritium is vital to interstellar travel. Reports are confused, but it is confirmed that Orbital Refinery 4 has been destroyed. Conflicting reports of an industrial accident to sabotage are being floated by witnesses and company spokesmen. We will bring you more as the situation develops. With this secret recipe, the Altacaran Empire shall dominate the galaxy! <laughs> Look out, Jack! The evil Altacarans have stolen everything, even our recipe for a good time! Never fear, Tracy. Those blasted horn-headed freaks can't keep Jack Starkiller down. Here, try this. It's so crisp and refreshing. And hey, the party's getting started again. That's right, Tracy. Nothing, not even those goat-loving mongrels, can stop the good time refreshment of brew beer. You win this time, Jack Star Killer. But we'll be back. You bet you will, which is why every loyal citizen should have a case of brew beer on hand. Brew beer. It's the Commonwealth way. Dateline, Quahog, the Altacaran homeworld. General Frag, dictator of the horn-headed foes of the Commonwealth, has decreed that being human is an affront to the great god Cogthor, an affront punishable by the death of a thousand screams. Only a thousand, Fraggy? I bet Jeebus can come up with a few thousand before lunchtime. That's why we'll always beat them, my fellow citizens. Our ingenuity. However, this decree has forced mass exodus from the Altacaran free trade zones. Human traders and business folk are being rounded up or are fleeing for their lives. If you have a loved one in the Altacaran Free Trade Zones, contact FedCom 78116 to report them. Ambassador Kinch of the Micronobian Union has vowed to have any Commonwealth citizen returned before they reach 500 screams. The energy crisis hits home. Dateline Andromeda Prime. Even though successful negotiations with the Yogalibian tribes of Holler's Moon mean a new source of qualtritium, relief from our power woes does not seem forthcoming. Rolling blackouts on Andromeda Prime and across the Andromeda sector have been reported. Interstellar trade has slowed to a crawl as a lack of refined qualtritium forces ships to piggyback through hyperspace. Our military starships are well equipped and zip across the Commonwealth without a thought to fuel costs and shortages. I ask you, Chancellor Sullivan, what will the Senate do to get the Commonwealth flying again? Galacta Bowl 25. The Robo League crushed the serious dogmen 45 to 3. And by crush, I mean literally. Crushed. Funeral services will be held on Sirius for the fallen. Close casket. Breaking. Dateline Arcturus 3. Terrorist group the Sons of the Republic are claiming responsibility for the attack on the Qualco refineries. Authorities cite that the Sons of the Republic are an Altacaran backed terror group with no agenda worth noting. Breaking. Ministry of Protocol officers have begun rounding up suspected members of the militant arm of the Sons of the Republic. Senator Ewing of the Protocol Oversight Committee advises all citizens to be vigilant and report anyone you suspect of harboring sympathetic feelings for the Sons of the Republic or any of their ilk. Oh, hi Tommy. Hi, Vanessa. Ready for our date? Who's this? This is Rick. And I'm sorry, but he's my date tonight. But Vanessa, we've been going steady for over six months. I know. And that showed me that I need a real man. I mean, just look at that uniform. He's not so hot. I bet I could take him. Whoa. Hold on there, pal. There's a lot more to be fighting for than Victoria here. That's right. What? I became a crewman in Star Command to fight for what I believe in. 
to become a part of the galaxy's greatest fighting machine, a place where who you are, where you come from, even your name doesn't matter. It's what you do that's important. Wow. I never thought of it like that. Now I feel like an idiot wanting to fight over this harlot. Hey! Why don't we go down to Star Commander Crewman office and a senior crewman can show you how you can serve. That sounds great. What about me? Don't worry, Velma. Recruitment only takes about an hour. After that, you'll have two men of Star Command to take you out. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. One purpose, one job, one name. Enlist as a Star Command crewman today. Note that enlistment does not imply you'll get to have a threesome. News from Chancellor Sullivan's office. The Chancellor has responded to the Altacaran declaration that human beings are an affront to the great god Cogthor with a declaration of his own. Altacarans are now to be reclassified as waste byproducts, and sewage processing centers should prepare for an influx of Altacarans for reclamation. Meanwhile, he has ordered the Star Command 5th Fleet to the Kitabu Station to assist with the evacuation of humans from the Altacaran Free Trade Zone. That is all the time we have for today. Tune in next time for all the news that's deemed fit to print. Stay tuned for Empty Static. We are definitely not transmitting coded messages for the Ministry of Protocol. Seriously, if you're a member of the Ministry of Protocol, your coded message is in the show notes. This has been News of the Galaxy, a Head Games Entertainment Podcast. The Head Games Entertainment Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. All music provided by GarageBand 11. Visit us on the web at www.starcommandseries.com and at headgamesentertainment.com. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash starcommandseries or on Twitter at Head Games ENT.